An anonymous author once wrote of Jesus, he never wrote a book, never had a family, never owned a home, never held an office, never went to college. He never had an income, never visited a big city, never traveled more than 200 miles from where he was born. He did none of the things one usually associates with greatness and had no credentials but himself. And yet, more than 1900 years after his death, Jesus stands as the central figure in human history. My whole argument would be that there is no figure of Christ available apart from what Christianity has. This figure has served to define uh, the Western civilization in its late classical, medieval, and even early modern Reformation, Renaissance phases, uh, and therefore it becomes a, a central obsession. The encounter with Christ is not the encounter with an argument. Uh, it's not the encounter with a proof. It's not even the encounter with a text. It's the encounter with a person. It's an encounter with the embodiment of the love of God in history. And to say yes to that is what we mean by Christian faith. Jesus cannot be tied down or bound into one small, narrow, uh, little box. That the reality of who Jesus was, the reality of who God is, uh, is more than any human being can encompass and any human being can uh, uh, describe or any human being can even understand. That challenge of belief in Christ uh, could come from a preacher, it could come from a, a, a television program, it could come from uh, somebody reading the, the New Testament. There are all sorts of different ways that could start that, uh, uh, that acorn of curiosity, perhaps, to grow into the, the oak, to grow into Christian faith. Christ encounters men and women, changes life, changes mind, and brings hope so that not for this world only but for an eternal world we are prepared and delivered.